Oh my gosh, it's so good to be back home in my setting and my desk and all my makeup. I felt like I was going for freaking ever. For those of you that don't know or that just subscribed to me, I was in California for almost three weeks. So it's really nice to be back home and just like sitting down and filming with you guys again. It's been a while since I've had a video up, which is so not normal for me, but I just things were just insane. So I got a lot of requests to do this look that I'm gonna film for you guys today. It's pretty much the look that I wore to every single event in California. Like I just kept doing the same look over and over because it looked really nice, it was easy to do, and it was fun. So that's what I'm going to film for you guys. I hope you're excited. I'm so excited to be back home. I had the best time in California and I will have like a haul video up and kind of like what I did in California. But today we're just doing a get ready with me. I don't have anything on my face. My camera looks like super good today, doesn't it? I don't know why it looks it's like so crystal clear it's kind of freaking me out but anyway chit chat get ready with me i guess i can chat while i get ready um the star of my show today is max boom boom room this is one of the dazzle shadows and i know these kind of get a bad rap because people say that they're like they have a ton of fallout and they some people don't like the way that they look on the eye i am totally obsessed with them like look how pretty that is you guys will see when it's on my eye it's insane so I'm gonna start with foundation and this look that I'm filming is like my go-to like glam kind of look honestly you guys I did this look probably eight times ten times I mean over and over like a crazy crazy one look wonder okay so I'm gonna start out with my Scandinavia primer spray And then the foundations that I'm using are the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is amazing. I mean, like, so good. I was really afraid that they were going to put this one on the market, take the original HD away, and we were not going to like it. It's so much better. The coverage is really good. It lasts forever. It just looks so good on. Like, I got so many compliments on my skin. It was this every every single time and I mix in a little bit of my Giorgio Armani sorry I took the lid off my Giorgio Armani luminous silk I love this but I can't really wear it by itself like I have to use a mattifying primer and I like it a little bit better if I mix a different foundation with it I don't know why that is it just seems to last longer on my face so I'm gonna take my hourglass mineral veil primer because the Giorgio Armani is a little bit more suited for dry skin, I like to use a mattifying primer just to kind of help it stay on and not break down. I love this primer. It's really good. So I'm just going to let that kind of set for a minute. And then I take like 90% of this and just a little tiny bit of the Giorgio Armani. And I'm going to use my Morphe 439. I think that's what it's called. Let's find out. Yes, M439. This is like my favorite um, foundation brush. And I press it. I don't really like blend it around because I feel like the coverage is better when I do it this way. I'll zoom you guys in for the eye portion. Why does this brow look like super high? Okay. Okay, I'm going in with a Morphe E3 and my NARS Crystal Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to set everything and then we'll go in and cook or bake. Some people say cook, some people say bake. I like bake. I think it sounds girlier. As if that even matters.
Okay, so everything is set. I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. The lid's now on the ground. Gonna prime my lids. Okay, I'm gonna start baking my under eyes because this shadow has fallout. That way if I get any fallout, I can just kind of wipe it away. So I've been using the E20 from Morphe and my Laura Mercier translucent powder. These two, oh, so good. So I take a lot of powder. Like you really wanna get your brush in there and get it covered and just press it on your under eye area. But you need a lot of powder. Like don't be, don't be shy with the powder. And I just take it all over my under eye area just get it all on there. And I take it up a little bit so that when I wipe it away, it just kind of lifts everything. But don't be shy, girl. Load that baby up. I know it looks crazy, but I'm telling you, it works. It brightens and it really helps your makeup to last and not like crease and break down. It makes a big difference. Now, I wouldn't really do it for daytime, but for like going out at night, it's amazing. Okay, so that's good for now, and be careful because your brush will be covered with powder. We'll clean that off later. Okay, I'm gonna go in and start my eyes. Let's zoom you babies in. So for my crease, I'm starting out with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and my e Fody. this baby. You guys know the drill by now and I'm just gonna run this through my crease the whole way the whole entire crease and don't be shy because this is a kind of dramatic look at least for me it is we're even doing lashes today right you guys proud of me I've been wearing lashes a lot and I love them and then I'm going to go in with a brush with no product on it. This is an M501 from Morphe. And I just blend those edges. Okay, next I'm going to take an E13 from Morphe. And I'm going into this shadow. This is a MAC shadow. This is that like warm neutral palette. I'll put it down below what the name of it is. I don't know offhand. And I'm going to put this in the outer part of my crease. Just to add a little bit of depth. Just a little bit. I don't go too crazy with this one. Okay, I'm taking a Morphe E22, this guy, and I'm gonna go into Secretive from Morphe. This is in the Jaclyn Hill palette, if you guys have that. Manny totally got me into this eyeshadow. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna take this pretty much all through the crease and on the outer edge. So I like pull it in. We want the outer edge to be nice and dark and deep and dramatic, but I also like the crease to be a little bit dramatic as well. I feel like I've done this look so many times, I could do it in my sleep. So just get it on the outer edge. I think I want a little bit more pink in it today though, so I'm going to dip into something else. We're going to funk it up a little bit. It'll be beauty mess. I'm going to go into the Morphe 35U palette. She looks like this. And I'm going to take this pink shade right here with a little like crease blending brush. Let me find, like this guy's good. The Morphe G13, I swear this video is not sponsored. It just so happens that I have an obsession with Morphe. So I'm taking that color, it's like really bright pink, and I'm gonna put this in my crease just cause I want a little bit more pink. And it'll just add a little bit. And then we'll blend it. So I'm taking it like on the upper crease cause I want it to, really stand out. I should have done this first, but 
I kind of didn't realize I wanted the pink till now. So I just put it up there. I know it looks crazy at first. Put it up there. I, I'm doing this totally ass backwards. And then I'm taking my G40. I'm G40, my E40, and I'm blending. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm a little bit off my game, guys. So just blend it so it doesn't look like we just plopped it on there. Let's try to make her look like she belongs. Like she's not an outcast. We don't want an outcast. No. Okay, so it's a little choppy now, but once I do the brow bone highlight and blend more, it'll be fine. So let's go in with this baby. Now first I'm going to take any sort of glitter base. You can use the Too Faced one. Um, Lit Cosmetics has one that's like this. This one's from... Mm, I think it's from Eye Candy. Yeah. So it's just like a liquid base. So I just take like a flat shader brush, get some of this, and just put it all over my lid. I'll show you guys. So I'm taking the Morphe G15 and I'm just going to pour a little of this onto my brush. And then I just press it all over my lid where I'm going to put that shadow. I let it dry a little bit. And then I'm just going into Boom Boom Room with my finger. And we're going to put this all over where we just put that base. Taking that Morphe brush again, the, what are you, the G13, I'm going to go into black. This is Makeup Geek Corrupt. Because I want to deepen things up on the outer edge. And I just put this in like the outer V and I kind of pull it up into my crease a little bit. Just to make things nice and dramatic. Okay, let's move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take, I have like everything rearranged. I'm such a mess. I'm going to take my Buxom Call Me eyeliner and do my waterline and tight line. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into that bright pink shadow. And I'm going to put this all over my lower lash line. And do not be afraid. I want it to be nice and bright. And if you're afraid of pink, you can do purple. Like you can just replace all of the pink with purple. You could even do like a, a eggplant color. You could do blue. You could do pretty much whatever you want it to. I just like to play off of the shadow with pink. But it's whatever you like. You know, I probably should have wiped my powder away, so let's do that now. Just take a clean brush and wipe the powder away. And do it kind of fast. Like, you just want to wipe it away. Don't like, you know what I mean? Just like get in there and wipe it away. And then I just kind of blend the edges so it doesn't look insane. And you have baked, cooked, whatever. And I'm going to take a little bit of black on the outer part just to deepen things up. But keep it close to your lash line. See? Like that. So I just like press it into my lash line. Since I am wearing lashes, I need to have some sort of liner going on so you can't see the lash band. I might go outside and F that crow's life up. Do you hear that shit? Jean-up! Quit growing! Shut up! Okay, I'm going to go into this MAC palette, and I'm going to take this shade. Again, I'll try to find the name and put it down below. And just a flat, like, fluffy shader brush, kind of. 
That crow is really getting on my nerves. And I'm going to do my brow bone. If it's not the crow, it's my kids. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, brow bone. Oh, and this is a Morphe E14. Does that crow not know that I'm trying to film a video? Like, stop it. Is that better? I do need to fix my brows, but we'll fix them then. It's okay. So to contour, oh, I have something new. Something that I am really, really liking. The Lorac Contour Palette. This is what it looks like. It's really good, you guys. I really, really like so it. So I take this deep shade and I kind of like use it on the very back part. And then I take this guy and I like blend it out and kind of warm everything up. Really good palette. Love it. And I'm going to use my Eda brush as always. So going into the deep shade, I just like cut it right back here. See how dark that is? Be careful. Don't worry though, it'll work out. And then once I don't have that much product on my brush, I go back in and really blend it out. Okay, so once I have it blended out a little, I take an E3 and I'm going into the medium shade. And I use this to warm everything up and also to blend that contour a little bit more. Okay, going back to my little E20 brush and my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I am going to bake my contour. So I just make a line like right under the main part of it. Mm -mm. I know, I'm like the worst teacher. Um, and I just like that much. I don't go crazy but I do really load it on there and it will help so much. I'll show you guys. We're just gonna let that sit for a while. Are we even? Yes. Okay, so while all that's happening, I'm actually gonna go off camera now and do my brows and I, my brows, my eyelashes, good grief. These are the eyewear dolly winks wait till you see them on they are so pretty and i'm going to use the revlon lash glue this is really nice if you guys can't get your hands on the house of lashes this is probably just as good which is astounding to me because the house of lashes one is insanely good this is bomb so i'm gonna go do my eyes eyelashes and i'll be right back don't miss me too much <gasps> okay lashes are on in one take like what the hell is even happening? So I need to do my inner corner. I think I want to do like a shimmery inner corner. When do I not want to do a shimmery inner corner? I'm going to take Starry Eyed from Makeup Geek. You know, why not? I mean, we've already gone this far. We might as well just keep it going. Keep the parade rolling. So I'm taking a Sigma E21 and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I think it'll add some fun, as if this look is not fun enough. And again, don't be shy, load that puppy up. And I'm also taking it down onto my lower lash line. Oh, I got a little eye boogie. That's not cute. Okay, let's move on to the, the baking. I think this has been on long enough, so I'm gonna take that same E3 brush that I used to kind of clean up my eyes and I just wipe this away and then I kind of blend. Right? It makes such a big difference. 
right? Doesn't it make everything look so much better? Okay, now for blush. What blush did I use while I was out there? Oh my god, Morphe again. You guys are gonna kill me. Um, I actually use this pretty much every day. This is the Morphe 9B. Let me show you guys. 9B? It's like so tiny. Oh, so, I think I'm gonna use this guy today. And I use a Morphe E4 brush. Oh my god, this video is all flipping Morphe. I'm so sorry. I didn't plan it that way. It just, it's kind of what I love. Now for highlighter, <laughs> I'm going to be using the new Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. This is her collab with Becca Cosmetics. This is so pretty. Just wait till you guys see this one. It's crazy. <gasps> I love it. I'm using a Sigma F35. This is a hardcore, like, in-your-face contour and contour. <sighs> Look at that shit. Highlight on mother freaking fleek. Oh my god, it's so burny. So go overboard, go hardcore, we only live once. Put that shit everywhere, strobe the F out of your face. Okay, so for my lips, I'm not even joking you guys, I wore this lipstick every day. Every day, I don't think I wore anything else. This is Max Modesty, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna line with the Marc Jacobs Nudist lip liner. Mm, I have lip balm on, getting it all off. Get off my lips. Right? I love this color. Okay, how are my brows? I feel like they're out of control. Anyway, this is the look. Did I even mention to you guys that I got purple in my hair when I was in LA? Purple and pink. It's kind of fading now. I need to touch it up, but I really like it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. I've worn this more times than I can count. And like even now today putting it on, I just want to like stare at myself in the mirror. Does that sound super conceited. I just love the eye, like the the pink with the lashes. I just think it looks so pretty. So I hope you guys like this look. Thank you again for bearing with me while I was away. I appreciate it. You guys are so patient with me. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I'm so glad to be back home filming. I will pump the videos out for you. If you have any requests, put them down below. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Mwah! Video! Bye! I will cut a bitch if I know. Oh, don't do that. What did I do? <laughs> I freaking missed your asses. I mean, like, missed. Missed. But aren't these lashes so pretty? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This lip? This lip is life changing. <laughs> My life is changed. So, so yeah, that's pretty much. False alarm. I thought I'd fart. <laughs> oh, Mama is sweating like a stuffed pig. Is that what they say? A stuffed pig? I'm sweating like a horn church. I'm sweating like a... I don't know. I have nothing. Me and my bang would have nothing. I have enough. Oh my god, my lash is about to blow off. I am so sorry that this video was like all Morphe. I didn't plan it. It just kind of happened. This is the beginning of the rest of the eye. I didn't even put brow gel in. What is my life come to? Brow gel right here. Brow gel. So this is my look. I really hope you guys... <coughs> so this is my look. This is my look? No, 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 you always do that. So yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. I'm about to cut a bitch, cut a bitch. Let's go cut a bitch. Let's just go and cut a bitch. Let's go and... I mean, it's like, are you a drag queen? Are you competing in RuPaul's Drag Race? I possibly am, okay? Don't judge me. But I like it hard. <laughs> you do? I do. I like it hard. I like... I was just about to sing a song. I seriously, like, I missed you guys. When I say I missed you guys, I don't mean like, oh, I missed you. It was nice to see you. I mean like, my heart was breaking. UBS is here. Screw you bitches, I gotta go.